Welcome to the Digital Prosperity Podcast, the show for small and medium-sized businesses who want to get more traffic, get more leads, and get more sales from their website. So if you want to improve your business strategy, stay up to date with the latest sales and marketing technology, and learn specific marketing techniques that can keep your business ahead of the pack, then this is the show for you as the JDR Group brings you ideas, motivation, and inspiration to help you attract ideal clients and customers. And here is your host, Will Williamson. Hello, welcome to the Digital Prosperity Podcast with me, Will Williamson. The title of this week's show is How Social Media Has Changed the World. Now, it's easy as we go about our daily lives to take social media for granted. It's such an important part of the fabric of daily life. We see it on the news. You see people on social media, in cafes and restaurants using their phones. You hear constantly about Facebook and Twitter. We spend more and more time on it on a day-by-day basis. But it can be easy sometimes to take a step back and take stock of how much of an impact that's having on the world and on business generally. So one of the things that social media has done is that it's made it possible to keep in touch with everybody. So I remember in the early 2000s trying to log on to Friends Reunited get in touch with some of my school friends and finding it very difficult to do so. I remember when Facebook came along, how fantastic it was to be able to reconnect with people and find out about what was going on in their lives. And I know of some friends of mine, good school friends, that reconnected and have become really good friends since, whereas otherwise they would probably have drifted apart. My dad, I remember talking to him about his friends and family, and he's so many people that he would tell me stories about that he'd lost contact with simply because either him or they had moved house. And then you change your phone number, you change your address. If you lose it, or if you don't manage to pass that on to someone, then that's it. You can't get in touch with them ever again. Uh, And that doesn't happen these days with Facebook, with Twitter, and so on. It also gives uh, like-minded people a way of building friendships and connections with them. So it allows people who have uh, niche interests or specialist interests, whether they are followers of certain sports teams or they have interest in certain bands or music or certain political interests, whatever it might be, and it enables those people to find each other wherever they are online and make friends and talk to each other and connect with each other. The internet, particularly Twitter, has created this kind of sense of a global conversation where now everybody can talk to anybody and there is a sense of an ongoing conversation. It means that ideas and information and entertainment can be shared really, really quickly. It has also turned everyone into a publisher. Every single human being on the planet with a smartphone is now a publisher, which has great things and it has some not so great things so it's all about how people use it one of the things it's turned every single person with a smartphone into a journalist so everyone can take photos can take videos it's much harder for hate crimes for misuses of power to go unnoticed and unrecorded and uh, for people to get away with that type of thing you know we see video footage of of war crimes of atrocities that otherwise wouldn't be reported It's given every single person a voice and it's meant that some people have been able to rise to become celebrities and become extremely successful in their own spheres, uh, whether that's in food or exercise or music, whatever it might be, because they've been able to use these free publishing platforms. But you also hear stories of people that have put messages on social media networks and not really taken into account the fact they're publishing it to the world, and it's affected them in job interviews, in their career, or later in life. It's meant that everybody has their own kind of self-image, and now also a kind of digital sense of self, of who they are online, a digital identity, if you like. It's had a big effect on news, and how we receive and consume news. And one of the effects that it has had, speaking in the wake of the US election where Donald Trump became president, there's a lot of stories about how the use of social media to receive your news has created a confirmation bias, whereby uh, if you have liberal views or you have conservative views, you tend to only be shown content that reflects those views. So you only get the news that confirms your existing opinions, and you don't get kind of a wider or broader sphere of different opinions or news stories shared with you. And that has an effect on the world. And then finally, social media, for all the good it's done, 
also, whenever you open up a new communication channel, people can use it for good and also for bad. And there is a, a big rise in trolling, in online abuse, uh, online bullying, identity theft. And there is all of these kind of negative sides that come with all of the positives. So that's how it's changed kind of society in general. But it's, it's had a big impact on business, particularly. It's enabled brands and companies to start building and creating their own audiences. They have their own publishing channels and they can start to create content for free and publish directly to their own consumers and to their own customers. It gives everyone their own media channel, Facebook, YouTube, LinkedIn, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter. These channels are the new ITV, the new Channel 4, the new BBC, the new Radio 1. This is a, it creates a level playing field. And small companies... They can produce interesting content and interesting information or entertaining posts online that can compete with the bigger companies. Now, it doesn't end there, though. Uh, social media is still changing and evolving. And the people that are at the top of Facebook, of LinkedIn, which has just been acquired by Microsoft, the people at the top of Twitter, they have big plans for these platforms. And they want to turn social media beyond where it is now and to make it the place that people find products and services, the place that people pay for those products and services, the place where people communicate in their daily lives, where they find information, where they live online. So we're going to see these platforms continue to grow. Some will come, some new ones will come. Some of the ones that we know now will go and will fall by the wayside. But social media is going to continue to play a bigger and bigger part in our daily lives. And this is a tremendous opportunity. However, most businesses, they underplay the importance of social media. They sometimes dismiss social media. And many people who try and use it don't use it effectively. And we've done plenty of articles, podcasts, and shows about that. And if you want to know more about that, go to the Digital Prosperity blog or look up previous posts we've done on why social media doesn't work when you don't do it effectively. But like the radio, like telephone, like the television, like the fax machine, like the introduction of email, social media is a development which it's neither good or evil, but it is a tool that we can all use and it is not going away. So we'd all better get good at it. Now, if you're using social media in your business and you want to know how you can make it more effective, myself and the lovely folks at the JDR Group have put together a great free resource for you. If you go to jdrgroup.co.uk, click on the resources tab and then choose free guides, you'll find we have a social media daily workout. This is a 20 minute daily regime for you to follow where spending just 20 minutes a day on your various social media channels will start to deliver results that can help you expand and grow your company. Thank you for listening. Future questions, please send them to podcast at jdrgroup.co.uk. You can visit the website jdrgroup.co.uk or find me on Twitter at will at jdr. Otherwise, thanks again for listening and I look forward to speaking to you again very soon.